Hi, my name is Marianne Swartz, and this video is made by the Applied Anthropology Laboratories, also known as the AAL at Ball State University in Muncie, Indiana. The mission of the AAL is to expand student education beyond the classroom through practical experience and the application of technical and scientific anthropological knowledge. Today we will ask some of the student archaeological technicians and archaeologists at the AAL what historical archaeology means to them in the context of a project that they are currently involved in. Hello, my name is Christine Thompson, Assistant Director and Archaeologist. I have done research at the Battle of St. Clair's Defeat and the Battle of Fort Recovery, part of the Nor Northwest Indian Wars in Ohio for the last 10 years. Our work has included large-scale metal detecting in field schools, preservation planning, and battlefield interpretation involving descendant tribes in the local community. Historical archaeology means being able to take past events and help the public better understand the per perspective of all participants. In this case, it means giving voice and agency to tribal descendants, a view that is often neglected in the traditional retelling of history. We are excited that new interpretation like these wayside exhibits in a future traveling museum exhibit will allow American Indians to tell their story in a larger context beyond just these two battles. Hello, my name is Zoe Lawton and I've been with the AAL for almost a year now. I was a member of the 2020 field crew for the Morgan Monroe State Forest Project. We were investigating Civilian Conservation Corps Camp. We were utilizing pedestrian surveys and shovel test pits. We discovered numerous foundation glass balls and fragments like this old Quaker whiskey bottle from the 30s or the 1940s. And then that is my personal favorite is the old flag base. And to me, historical archaeology is documenting what was never written down and giving voices to the marginalized groups like the people of Company 542, the African American CCC camp at Morgan Monroe State Forest. Hello again. I was a member of the 2019 field crew at the Revolutionary Revolution War Battle of Fekoe site in Springfield, Ohio, where we used metal detector survey to explore the battlefield. We discovered battle era artifacts such as lead balls, buckles, buttons, and knives. I also cleaned, identified, and cataloged all the artifacts that we recovered and helped write sections of the report. To me, historical archaeology means using historical documents and maps in addition to field work results to create a more accurate view of what actually happened at a battle site such as in the case of the Battle of Pekoe in 1780. Hello, I'm Jacob Petro, and I'm a lab assistant. I've worked at the AAL for two years. I worked on the Mountain State Park in the Brownberg House Project, where we used excavation units to explore a spring house dating to the mid-1800s. The spring house is a small building, usually a single room, constructed over a spring. This kept the spring water clean of leaves and debris, it was also used for refrigeration of perishable items before ice delivery in modern electric refrigerators. At the site, we found cut bone indicating what type of food items the bon Brandenburgs may have kept in their spring house. To me, historical archaeology means using artifacts to better understand what happened in the past. Hello, my name is Erin Rivers, staff archaeologist. I've done research at the Indiana Medical History Museum, locating the first cemetery used at Central State Hospital through a ground penetrating radar in Indianapolis, Indiana. This project relies on data collected from ground penetrating radar to tell us if there are likely burials present where they have or have not been documented before. Historical archaeology means that archaeologists are able to challenge preconceived notions about the past and read populations of marginalized groups like the patients buried at Central State Hospital.